Good evening. Earlier today, I received a four-page letter from Attorney General Barr outlining his summary of Special Counsel Robert Mueller's report while making a few questionable legal arguments of his own. I take from this letter three points. First, President Trump is wrong. This report does not amount to a so-called total exoneration. Special Counsel Mueller was clear that his report, quote, does not exonerate, close quote, the President. The Special Counsel spent 22 months uncovering evidence of obstruction and other misconduct. Attorney General Barr, who auditioned for his role with an open memorandum suggesting that the obstruction investigation was unconscionable and that a president and that it was almost impossible for any president to commit obstruction of justice since he is the head of the executive branch, made a decision about that evidence in under 48 hours. His conclusions raise more questions than the answer, given the fact that Mueller uncovered evidence that, in his own words, does not exonerate the president. It is unconscionable that President Trump would try to spin the special counsel's, counsel's findings as if his conduct was remotely ac acceptable. <coughs> Second, given these questions, it is imperative that the Attorney General release the full report and the underlying evidence. The entire unfiltered report, as well as the evidence underlying that report, must be made available to Congress and to the American people. As much information can be, as can be made public should be made public without delay. I intend to fight for that transparency. We will ask the Attorney General to testify before the House Judiciary Committee. We will demand the release of the full report. The American people are entitled to a full accounting of the President's misconduct referenced by the Special Counsel. Third, the Attorney General's comments make it clear that Congress must step in to get the truth and provide full transparency to the American people. The President has not been exonerated by the Special Counsel, yet the Attorney General has decided not to go further or apparently to share those findings with the public. We cannot simply rely on what may be a hasty, partisan interpretation of the facts. Earlier this month, the House passed a resolution calling for full and complete release of the Special Counsel's report by a vote of 420 to nothing. We now call on the Attorney General to honor that request, to release the report and the underlying evidence, and to appear before the Judiciary Committee to answer our questions without delay.